In this video, I'm going to make a breakfast wrap, but with different ingredients. This can be for lunch or for dinner. I'm going to also include the calories. I'm taking this moment to say thank you to all of my new subscribers and welcome. And thanks for those who've been rocking with me for Let's a while. Let's get into the recipe, Stay tuned. which only has two net carbs. I'll start off by saying, please excuse the appearance of this package. I still wipe my groceries off. So this um, distortion is from me wiping my uh, groceries down. This is the tortilla that I'm going to use to make the wrap. It's the Mission Carb Balance. And I'm gonna turn it over so that you can see the nutrition. In it, one tortilla is 70 calories. And then it's three and a half grams of fat with one gram being saturated fat, 300 milligrams of sodium. There are 18 carbs in here. And what you can't really see is the fiber is 15. So there are only three net grams of carbs. I am not a low carb, um, I'm not on a low carb diet. However, um, I do cut carbs where I can. Um, so I'll have more carbs for lunch. So here we go with this. All right, so I skipped a step. I sprayed a pan with cooking spray and I placed the tortilla in the pan um, just to get it warm. And I put some um, spinach on top of it while it was in the pan, just so it can wilt down a bit. You don't have to use spinach. You can use another type of greens. You can use uh, kale or some Swiss chard, or if you want, you can leave this step off, or you can use raw spinach or raw lettuce. You don't have to wilt it down. This is just what I did. And then on top of this, I'm going to sprinkle garlic on it to build flavor. So here I am with a bit of garlic. Rather than scramble my eggs, today I chose to boil eggs. I like soft boiled eggs. So how you fix or prepare soft boiled eggs is you would put the eggs in a pot, bring the water to a boil, then turn the flame off, put the lid on and let them sit for seven minutes and you will have the perfect soft boiled egg. So now I rough sliced the eggs. I didn't use two eggs, I used an egg and a half. And then on top of the egg, I added some cayenne pepper along with some cilantro. So I use cilantro a lot. I use it both fresh and dried. So this is what it's looking like so far. All right, next to my tortilla, I'm going to add shrimp, All right? So this is shrimp. I seasoned it with a little bit of cayenne pepper, some lemon pepper, and oregano. Um, and then not much. I coated not uh, the bottom of the pan with just cooking spray and just sealed them off in the pan or grilled them off in the pan, right? So I'll use maybe five or six of these in four ounces. I believe it's five of the this size shrimp in four ounces. One thing about making this tortilla, I'll insert a picture from one I made yesterday. I'm doing the same exact thing every single day. I like variety. So with this, yes, I had a tortilla yesterday, but I prepared it totally different than I made, um, did today. The one that I made yesterday has scrambled eggs on it. It has cheese as well as chicken chorizo sausage. Right, so you can vary this up and do whatever you want. You can make it with all vegetables. You can make it with um, chicken, pork, shrimp. Um, if you want to do one with fish um, and make a fish, um, kind of fish tacos or something like that, you can do that. So these uh, mission tortillas can be used in a variety of ways. I've even made them, use them to make pizza. So I'll do that in another video if you guys would like. All right, so now I have built flavor on flavor on flavor. So I added the shrimp to this, and then I'm going to top it off with some crema. And I'll show you the type of crema that we're gonna use for this. It's only 40 calories for two tablespoons of this. So I'll show you the brand. So before I show you 
the, the crema that I'm going to put on it, let's talk about the calories. So the tortilla, we know, is 70 calories. And then I used organic eggs. And these eggs are 70 calories a piece. So I use an egg and a half. So that's 70 and 35. So that's 105 calories from the egg. Next, I used power greens with the greens that I use. And in these power greens, um, I believe it's Swiss chard and spinach. It doesn't even say what all is in it. Oh, yes, it does. So here we go. It's Swiss chard, baby spinach, and kale, right? So this, the calorie count isn't on it, but it's probably like less than 20 calories for this. One thing I wanted to add to this recipe is um, some of this beef steak tomato. I meant to mix it in when I cooked the shrimp, but I forgot, so I won't be adding that today. I'm going to use this to prepare another meal. So here's the last thing that I'm going to put on my breakfast um, wrap, and it is cilantro lime crema. Some would think, oh my goodness, she's on a weight loss journey and she's going to use crema. Crema actually isn't very caloric. At least this crema is not. I don't like to buy prepared sauces because they tend to have a lot of sodium in them. However, we're going to look at the nutritional content of this. My weight loss journey, I love, 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 love flavor, right? So I built flavor into this. And then I love to give myself some type of sauce on certain dishes that doesn't add a lot of calories. I purchased this from Costco and there were two in this pack and they were $5.99 for two. I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was on sale, but when it says everything sauce, I have put this on everything. I put it on chicken, I put it on fish, put it on even um, steak, so it goes a long way, right? So here we are, it says on here um, that this is the crema that's used on Costco street tacos. That doesn't mean much to me because I've never had Costco street tacos before. Now with this, the shelf life isn't very long, right? It says used by June 12th because it's fresh. I bought it maybe a week ago. So with two in it, like, for me, I wouldn't have any problems um, using it by then, even two of them using it by myself. So I'll turn it over. I have not tried this on salad before to use like salad dressing. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try that tonight. So let's turn the bottle over and look at the nutrition content. All right, so if we look at this, the serving size is two tablespoons and it's only 40 calories. It's three grams of fat, of which one and a half grams is saturated fat. Not the best, but I go with the 80-20 rule, where 80% of my food is great and 20% can be not so great. So a gram and a half of saturated fat, and then the sodium is only 200 milligrams for two tablespoons, two carbs, zero fiber, right? And so what's really in this? Most of it is sour cream, right? And then you have some other things in it. Milk cream, not all of the best ingredients, but again, 80-20. I don't like to have soy, and this has soy in it. Here we go with 80-20. This may be the only thing that I eat that has soy in it. Um, I just try not to have soy. So here we go with this, and I'm going to put two tablespoons on it. Am I going to measure this out? No, I'm just going to eyeball it. All right, so let's see what it looks like on the tortilla. All right, so the last thing that I need to add in the calories for is the shrimp. And I get my shrimp from Whole Foods, and they're pretty large shrimp. Five of them, as I said earlier, is four ounces about five and that gives me a hundred calories a half a gram of uh, fat 135 milligrams of sodium no carbs 
no fiber, and the protein is at 23 grams, right? So let's add all of that up and take a look at the nutritional um, facts for this quesadilla. Um, and that quesadilla, but a breakfast wrap. And let's take a look at it. So here we are now with everything. We have the tortilla, we have power greens, which is spinach, kale, and Swiss chard. And then we have an egg and a half. We have some beautiful grilled or seared shrimp and topped with the crema from Costco. So let's see how many calories this is. Again, you can tweak this recipe any way that you want. You can use pork sausage. Um, you can use ground turkey. You can use turkey sausage, fish. You can use it, make this with all vegetables, make it with chicken, make it even with um, steak. The thing to remember here is that if you are on a weight loss journey or otherwise managing your calories, is to make sure you track it and know that all of them are not going to be, of course, this content. It will depend on the ingredients that you use. So as I stated earlier, I'm going to go over the um, nutrition information for this recipe. I am using my fitness pal. I use that to track my calories. Um, my name on my fitness pal for anyone interested is DMV Butterfly. DMV Butterfly. All right. So here we are. As I went over the ingredients earlier, I have the tortilla the organic egg from Kirkland's, the cilantro um, from uh, Costco. Here are the shrimp from Whole Foods. And then I have the power greens. And I said the calories for the power greens were 20, but it's coming up as only eight. I only had about a half a cup if I had that much, right? So we'll take a look. Please subscribe to my channel to see more low-calorie and keto-friendly options. So sometimes you'll um, get a pack of these and it may say 70 calories. And then a month later, depending on the batch, it'll say 80 calories. I've not been using my fitness pal for years and I have noticed that myself. So take my word for it on that. Well, 10 calories, 5 calorie difference. Um, make a big difference it can if you're doing that for every item so for myself I look at the actual package that I have and then look up the um, the item and then if the item uh, is not available here you can enter it yourself on my fitness pal all right so the tortilla the eggs and it also gives so I track the calories the carbs, the fat, the amount of protein, the fiber, and then also the sodium. People can choose to track different things, right? But these are the ones that I have here. So my total for all of this was 303 calories, 20 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, 39 grams of protein, and 16 grams of fiber, and then I'm around... 583 calories of sodium. This does not include the spices that I added in here, um, which I did add a little bit of salt in here. So that could have, this is not exact, exact. And also the spices, they do have calories in them, but they're pretty negligible. Um, so I'm looking at 303 calories for breakfast and overall Every gram of fiber cancels out, cancels out a gram of carbs, right? So I'm looking at only two net carbs for this tortilla. So that's um, that's pretty good. So there we are, and that's how I use my fitness pal to track my calories. And um, yeah, today is Monday. Here is the calorie count for this meal. I'm gonna stick to this being. A recipe. So I'm starting talking about a number of things because I'm on a weight loss journey. So let's just stick to this tortilla. It's 303 calories, 20 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, 30 grams of, um, 39 grams of protein, 
16 grams of fiber and about 583 grams of sodium. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Again, you can tweak this recipe any way that you want. If you remove the egg from this recipe, you'll be removing 105 calories. If you use two eggs, you'll only be upping the calories by 35 calories and you can keep that protein in. However, if you don't want it to be more of a breakfast wrap, you can add more shrimp in it um, in place of the egg or you can use chorizo. You can use steak, sh um, chicken, fish. Any of that in here would make a great Cinco de Mayo recipe. So please enjoy. If there are other sauces that you would use or make from scratch, please include them in the comments below so that we can all read them and try your recipe.